You're going to want to take some time to look up at the sky this weekend. A total lunar eclipse will be turning the blood or turning the moon blood red <laughs> on Sunday. Yeah, the full duration of the eclipse will be visible all along the East Coast. Mm. Ooh, you don't see that too often, uh, Zach. Those come around every now and then. They do. They're much more common than a total solar eclipse. Doesn't mean that you don't want to see it. They're pretty cool to see. And they do turn that uh, moon into that blood red color because it's kind of like casting the light from the we see on a sunset, the red rays up onto the moon. So it's cool to see. Weather obviously is something that we're going to have to contend with. We might have enough clearing to see it, but uh, we'll start to see the eclipse beginning 925 Eastern time, partial eclipse by 1027. So if the kids want to see this, they're going to stay up pretty late. We're looking at the full eclipse, maximum eclipse at about midnight, a little bit before that. And then the total eclipse ends a little bit before 1 a.m. And then it's all over with. But you'll still be able to see the moon. It'll just be kind of a reddish color when you see it. So kind of an eerie sight.